Welcome back to Grumpy Monkey Garage, and uh, today we're continuing our The Basic Series, talking about a basic service, which is an oil change. We've got us a good example here. This is a 2011 Ford Transit Connect, which is a fancy way of saying, you'll never buy this. This is something companies will buy, and since we service a lot of commercial clients, you will see these a lot here at our shop and probably at other shops across the country. Uh, they're not that reliable. They have tons of problems, and uh, this one's here for a lot of service today. You can see we've got one of our techs underneath it changing the transmission fluid, which we'll go over on a much more simple vehicle to do a transmission service on. But this one has a really good oil change for the film purpose, so we're going to film an oil change on this and explain what you need to do for an oil change. So at the bottom of the oil pan, kids, this is the oil pan. Somewhere on it, there'll be a bolt that goes to nothing, which is back here. These other bolts are all going into something such as the transmission and other things, but this bolt is not holding anything in. Sometimes it'll even be labeled drain plug. It's not here, but sometimes it is. So we're gonna take that out. So make sure you've got your ratchet taking it off, to going to the left, we we'll put it on here. And you'll struggle for five minutes trying to get it off because of course you will because it's on camera. Oh, there we go. There go. Once you break it loose, we'll take it all the way out. Make sure you wear gloves because metal contaminants can be in the oil and you definitely don't want to be getting sick from your job. So you're going to retain the drain bolt, don't drop it to the abyss and I uh, set it aside. We'll be putting that back when it's done draining. All right, so once you've got your drain plug out and it's draining, it's almost finished now, we're gonna start taking off our oil filter, which looks like a cylinder. We frequently have like Penn's Oil, Proline, STP. There's lots of different oil filter brands, but it's gonna be a different color than your engine usually. A lot of the times they're white if they're in a factory setting. Um, somebody put a nice pure later on here. I actually think this was us the last time pure later on sale and they're a really good oil filter brand, so we decided to go with that. So now that our oil is done draining here, it's just down to a trickle. We're gonna try and bust this loose. Now a lot of times you can get them by hand. Ugh, not that one. So what you're gonna need to do is get yourself some oil filter pliers. Put those on there, make sure you're spinning it the right way because you can't over tighten them with these. Just bust that big boy right there loose. Now the grooves in the oil filter pliers match the grooves in the bottom of this thing. So don't go sticking this up here like this and crushing the sides. Just put in these little grooves in the bottom and that's what's going to help you get it off. So now we've got it loose, we'll plug the oil when it's done and we'll spin this the rest of the way off. Once you get the bolt in, you're going to tighten it, but you don't need to be a gorilla with it. You just want to just barely get in there. There you go, that's tight. Now, Gonna move our drain pan to underneath their filter. Man, it's still stuck. Go ahead and let this loose. It will start leaking. There we go. Don't let that drain for a minute. Just so I don't get so disgusting, I just wait for this to drain. Um, if you're on flat rate, if it's an in-call oil change, it only pays a half hour usually, so you'll definitely want to just eat this being gross. You'll just spend this off anyway to save you some time. But uh, for purposes of this, it's like I go and do different work after this. I'm trying not to get that disgusting, so we're gonna wait for a minute and just let that keep draining. There we go. You could just set the old filter in there. And we're going to take some of this oil right here on your finger. And we're just going to rub it on the new one's gasket here. 
so it doesn't get stuck like that one was. And what that's gonna do is just create a nice seal. You're gonna make sure your old gasket's not stuck up here. You're gonna take this one, just screw it right on. You want it tight enough that it doesn't leak, but not so tight that you can't get it off again. So you're not going to use pliers or anything to install it. You're just going to put it on hand tight, which is by hand. I just did that by hand. I'm not using pliers or anything. And it's on there. It should be good to go. Now let's go up top and add the new oil. Now that we're up top on the uh, engine here, you're going to get yourself a funnel. You're going to locate the oil cap. The oil cap usually has an oil indicator on it or an oil uh, label or viscosity. This one happens to have both, so I'm going to bring it in here and let the camera adjust for us. We've got our oil indicator, which is the Genie lamp, and then we've got our SAE, and then what kind of oil it takes. Now that's Ford. Some brands just have the little oil cap. Some just say the weight of oil. Some actually say the word oil, but um, they're all a little cap on top of the engine somewhere. So we're going to remove that and put it up here on the windshield wiper so I don't lose it. Um, this car has a weird hood latch design, but a lot of times I'll put that oil cap on the hood latch so I don't forget to put it back because when I try to close the hood, I'll end up hitting it. That's a good tip for all you guys out there getting into the lube industry. And we're going to put the filter in there. Now it said it takes 520, it does take synthetic, so we've got some 520 synthetic here. And the capacity is four and a half quarts on these transits, so we're going to add four full quarts and then we'll add our half a quart last. Um, so we'll do that. So here goes one, we'll just pour it in just like this. So here we are with our last quart. We've added four others, so we're only gonna add half of this. Now, oil bottles are nice enough to give you a little measuring stick on the side, but if you buy bulk oil like I do, it doesn't actually have a little window. So that's something to think about when you're buying your oil. You wanna buy one with a little window if you're doing a half quart. Pour about half of it. And we'll check and see where we're at. Yeah, a little more. All right, and that is our half quart. So we're gonna take the rest of this half quart and um, we should be good. We'll check the stick in just a second once that oil settles and that'll be sure. Let me clean this up real fast. All right, so we've replaced our oil cap now. We're gonna check the stick and make sure that it is actually full of oil now that I've cleaned up all those bottles. And uh, on a dipstick here, you've got a maximum level. It says max, I don't know if you can zoom in that close. We have a min and a max and our oil level is clean and right at this very top dot. So that is acceptable. So we will go ahead and start the car and make sure it's good to go with no leaks. Always double check your work. I mean, we put the bolt back and put the filter on. I don't expect there to be any leaks, but you should always check your work. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing. All right, so after you've proved that the car runs when you're done, you're going to write up a new sticker for the customer in their window. If your shop does stickers, we do here. So you'll put the next surface mileage, which if it's a synthetic oil, we use 5,000 miles in an interval. Some synthetics say they go 9,000, 7,000. That's not what we're looking for though. We want them to come back in in 5,000 miles for a tire rotation and oil change. So we're gonna put 5,000 for the next service due. The next service date is gonna be six months from that day. So we got date, mileage, and the oil type we used. So that's what you're gonna fill out on here. Make sure you use a permanent marker, stick it in their windshield, and then you're done. Thanks for watching this episode of Grumpy Monkey Garage, the basic series. We hope to see us next time. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button.